Hey loves, this is Nicolette from Nicolette Styles and today I would like to show you how to create a GIF without using Photoshop. So GIF is short for Graphics Interchange Format, which basically means that it's just a file that shows movement or animation. So why would you want to create a GIF? So GIFs are a great way to break things up a little bit in your feed. And since video and graphics are such a great way to reach our ideal target markets, GIFs is just a fun and different way for us to add a little interest and convey a message. So you'll see here on the Pottery Barn site that even Pottery Barn use it with the swivel chair just to stand out while you're scrolling through their site. And so when used right, GIFs can be really effective and really fun. Here's a GIF I made for Trello for Business and another one I made for Quilt with Canva. Let's go over a few ways that you can create your own GIFs quickly and easily. The first way is to create a GIF from a graphic like you see on my screen right now. What you would do is you can hop into Canva or your design tool of choice. I always suggest starting with the end image in mind. This is what we want the full GIF to look like once we've completed our GIF or once the GIF has come to an end. What you do is you make a few copies of that and then you start taking out the words and thinking through the way that you want the GIF to be animated and the story that you want to tell. I remove these last few sentences. How to create an animated GIF without using Photoshop. Okay, so that's just four quick slides. Then I can break it down even more and I can say how to and the create will follow after. So the way that I do this is because I just copy this text box because for your GIF to work, the only part that I want to be animated is this create part. I want the how to part to stay in place. So I remove the word, I add in some spaces that the how to part is going to be in exactly the same place it will be in the next slide. So how to create an animated, and you can break this up too, and we can have a GIF, copy this, and it's, ex it's in the center. I take out the word without, and I add in a few spaces so that the GIF is right in line with that whole sentence. So I hope that makes sense. Let me know if that's confusing. Download this and you can download it either as a PNG or a JPEG. You save it to your Dropbox or a desktop and then we're going to go to gifcreator.me. Now there are many different GIF creator sites. So you just upload your images and it creates a GIF for you. I like this one because I think it's easy to use, it's clean, it's user friendly, and I also have a lot of control in terms of the speed. All you do is you just upload the images that you downloaded. That's step one and you'll see it's already creating your GIF for you. Now you go on to step two, which is resize your GIF. You change the speed and the order of the frames. To change the order of the frames, you just move things around like that. So you can see the blue line will indicate where your frame will pop in. You can also change the speed of all of the frames by typing it in here or using this bar. And you can also change the speed per frame. So maybe I wanted the first two to be 300 and then I wanted to slow down a little bit and then stand still a bit longer on that last frame. You can see the preview of your GIF right over here. You can also then, step number three, create and download your GIF. So you go click on create animation and then you can view your GIF. So I like to view it in a separate window just to see it bigger. and I see here that there needs to be an extra space and I need to slow it down. What I'm gonna do is I'm gonna remove this one and I'm gonna add in another frame. So I go back into Canva, I go into this one and I just add that extra. Download slide number four, which is this one here. I save it in the same place and I just go number two, number four and it's the second version. So this is also where if you wanted to add to your GIF now that you've seen it come together and upload those images. 
Now I'm going to recreate that animation, view it, and then I can either download the GIF over here or I can go back here and download it here. It will download, it will look like a print preview layout, but you'll see the file name says GIF at the top. So you can just rename that and save it out. So what if you wanted to create an, a GIF of a photographed image? So, you know, where you'd have your image and maybe one part of the image moves while the rest of the image is like fr frozen. So I created this GIF just to give you an example of how you would do that. But to do that, what you would do is you would need to set your camera or your iPhone on a tripod so that it's still. You would style your shot and then you would decide what part of the image would be the moving part, would be the part that changes. Is it a book that opens up like I showed you? Or is it pencils that go in and out of a cup? So think about the story that you want to tell and then style your image or style the vocal point. And then every time, and that's why the tripod is so important. So because if you're just going to take pictures loosely with your phone, um, it will move all the time. So having a tripod, keeping your camera or your phone on a tripod. You wanna do your best to try and freeze that focus area and only move the part of the image that you want the animation to be. So once you've done that, you edit and filter those images exactly the same way. Then you would export them and upload into gifcreator.me exactly the same way. You would move the images around and you would go about creating your GIF that way. That is how you create a GIF from graphics, so the wording, and also how you create a GIF from photos. What other ways are there? So on your phone, you can download an app called Boomerang. And Boomerang is super easy to use. You're basically going to take a picture of yourself doing something, or you're going to take a picture of something else. I'll create one really quick with you. So I created one now, as you can see. And then on the top right hand corner, I just press save and it adds it to my camera settings. Now on my iPhone, when I go to camera, that same GIF is right there. And now I can go and upload it to Facebook or to my Instagram. So when you upload it to Instagram or Facebook, upload it as a video. And you can also upload it to your Instagram stories. And I believe that Facebook now also has stories, so you could upload it there as well. So Boomerang is that app. And then one more quick tip that I have for you. If you have existing videos that you're using on YouTube, you can use those videos and quickly turn a small 15 second clip of those videos into a GIF. All you would do is you go to your YouTube channel, you find the video that you want to use. So in this video, if Emily is showing us how to create a branded flat lay, and all I do is I go right at the top into the URL and before the word YouTube, I add in GIF and I press enter. It's going to open up this website, which is gifs.com. And now all I do is I go through the video and I select which part of this video do I want to create a quick GIF. So I'm looking for a section where she's styling something on the marble setup and I just move this blue section until I'm happy with the placement. So maybe here where she's placing the paper clips and now I can add a caption and then I can change the uh, font of the caption over here at the bottom. So you can see if your uh, brand font is in this section or something that's similar. You can add stickers, you can crop it. So if we wanted to use this for Instagram and we wanted to crop it, you can just drag it over here and crop it into a square. You can add padding, you can add different effects. And then once you're happy, you just press create GIF and it will create a GIF for you. You can add the sound. And then from here, you can title your GIF, you can share it, you can download it, you can publish it. And so this is a really great way to create a GIF from videos that you've already 
updated and used on YouTube. So I hope that this video was helpful. Four easy ways to create a GIF without using Photoshop. Quick and easy ways, play around with them. Come share what you've created in the Think Creative Collective group. And if you have any questions, please let us know in the comment section below or tag me, Nicolette, in the Think Creative Collective Facebook group. Thank you so much for watching and I'll see you guys next time.